now I'm doing an anime TV review. Sorry to all the booktubers who are watching, but I'm doing yet another review that is not book. However, this is originally a manga series, so I guess it, it is kind of related. But I am reviewing a TV series from 2013, and that is Attack on Titan, also known as Shingeki no Kyojin. It's actually been years since I seriously watched any anime TV series at all. Um, while I was living in Japan, I didn't really watch any. I watched a few movies, and they were mainly just Ghibli movies. So, this is my return to anime, I guess. And this one was one that I'd been interested in seeing ever since I saw a whole bunch of commercials on TV and ads everywhere, and it looked really interesting. So I thought, once I saw it on Netflix, I would watch it. So what exactly is Attack on Titan? Well, humanity has been mostly decimated by these giant, human-like monsters called the Titans. Or in Japanese, they call them Kyojin. But they're trying to fight back, and we have a group of new recruits who are joining the Scout Regiment to fight back and try to reclaim part of their land, as well as try to discover the origins or find out what the hell is going on. But of course, as you know, it's not always going to be easy. So, this series contains a huge amount of death. I mean, think of this as maybe the anime version of Game of Thrones. I mean, well, not really. They're, they're totally unrelated. I believe that Attack on Titan takes place in our future. Although, I could be wrong. Um, all the people's names are German. So this is based in Germany, uh, as far as I know, and this is long after mankind has been almost completely wiped out. Our main characters are a group of kids who were together. Uh, I learned that uh, they were nine years old when the series started, and by the time that the main episodes are going, is five years later, so they're all 14 years old, although they're fighting at 14. Although one of the characters, Mikasa, looks a bit too grown up to be 14. But anyways, they are Eren, who is a hot-headed kid who just likes to fight. Mikasa, who is a very close childhood friend of his, although kind of family, but not technically family. And she is an incredible fighter. She is very strong, seems to be quite unemotional as well. And then we have Armin, who is very intelligent, but doesn't really like to fight. There's a whole other group of characters. This is actually quite a big ensemble cast, so you get to know a lot of characters, but these are the three main ones. Uh, first of all, Eren does develop. Yes, I, I think he developed the least out of them all, but he ended up becoming the main hero, I guess you could say. But he is a very important character who does grow. He does grow. I should say that. Mikasa turns out to be someone who does have a lot of emotion in her. She she is very, very dedicated to Eren, and she shows a lot. Uh, I, I think her development is very good. And then we get to Armin, who does show a huge amount of development. He goes from being this very scared kid to someone who ends up having a lot of confidence in his abilities to think and strategize. So he ends up being pretty good as well. The story is basically in two parts. The first part is their training and they, they end up having to defend this city unsuccessfully or successfully. Yeah, you'd have to watch it to find out. Uh, the second part is an expedition to go and try and reclaim one of the walls. So the first part is, uh, I thought, kind of typical action, uh, almost episodic. Like the every, every time they have to fight against waves of titans. Although it doesn't turn out to be episodic, especially in the second half of the series. Now that becomes even darker, when, especially when this other titan appears and they have to try and figure out who is it. That's a, 
a very interesting question because the Titans tend to not be human, right? Well, it turns out some of them are actually human. Just, they're very different. I really enjoyed the story and I thought it was quite suspenseful a lot of the times. And it had my, at one point, it had my heart racing. It was, uh, it was at this, this one point in the story, later in, in later episodes, where I just couldn't stop watching. I just had to keep watching and watching and watching. And I, I was really getting into it. And unfortunately, while the, the first story arc is completed if, at the end of the series, it doesn't actually finish the story. You see, it's supposed to continue on in the second season. Now, this series was made in, in 2013. The second season is actually finally going to be starting this year. So I'm hoping to see that on Netflix in the future. But who knows? I'm not sure. Of course, since this is animation, I should mention the animation quality. It is decent. I mean, it's typical Japanese animation. Animation. Uh, the backgrounds are quite beautiful. They're very well done. Uh, the character designs are very good. Uh, the animation isn't as smooth as it could be. There is some CGI involved, which is quite good. Uh, I thought that the animation where they are flying with their 3D maneuvering devi devices was quite good. And the battles, the battles are good too. Uh, but as far as the music goes, the openings and endings are actually quite good. They're, they're almost epic sounding, like uh, they are rock basically, but uh, they, they, they just fit in with this kind of show. Also, they put in a lot of German words, which is appropriate, of course, considering this is based in Germany. Despite the fact that the story is unfinished and it leaves you basically at a cliff, cliffhanger, well, not really a cliffhanger, but you have to wonder what's going to happen next. Now, despite this, I do give this first season a 5 out of 5 stars. Definitely a must-see, and I really want to see the second season. Have you seen this show? Let me know what you thought in the comments section below. Also, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe right over here. You can check out these videos as well. You might find something you find interesting. So, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.